You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I have a Rose Art Color Blanks figure set here. It looks like a snowman and a reindeer. Now, this looks like a, it says a mega product here. And, uh, I don't know, I found it for a dollar, I think, at uh, Salvation Army or uh, a thrift store somewhere. So, it looks like you can decorate the whole thing, paint the whole thing. And uh, do whatever you want. Do it yourself. One-of-a-kind collectible figures. An original every time. Never two the same. Includes sticky dots to easily stick your own stuff. So I have a sticker sheet. Well, we're going to see if the markers work. Because I don't even know what year it's from. Let's see. It's from 2011. So it's a couple years old. Roseart.com Washington care made in China. All right, let's see how easy it is to get into this thing. It's already, as you can tell, ripped up, but that's how I found it, so. That comes out real nice. Ooh, that screechy sound. I know it bothers a lot of people. These look like they're taped on somehow. Wow, they always make things so hard to get out of package. That's what someone needs to redesign, is taking things out of packages. There has to be a better way. The old days it was screws, things that you would, uh, and then it turned to these, uh, the, the twist ties and these clear rubber bands, and then, I don't know what, there must be a history on packaging somewhere. There's my two figures. Now let's uh, check out the marker set here. And if these markers don't work, then I'm going to have to find some other markers. Try them on the back of this cardboard here and see. Working fine. Not bad. Two years old. Now I was looking somewhere. It said, where did it say? Oh, look for other Color Banks products. Permanent double ended markers. So I'm not sure if these are permanent and double ended. I don't see that. They see the single end version, they don't come apart. So there we go. So now to the decorating. Let's see. Now, if you looked at some of the... Well, I didn't look at all the pictures, but look how detailed they are here. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to match this. Look at this. These are... These take a lot of artistic ability. Imagine having this one and painting all the different pieces and the stripes. You'd have to be pretty skilled. This is this snowman here, it looks like. Now, if someone painted that on there, I'd be thoroughly impressed with their skills. There's the other three on that side. So I don't think I can match that, but let's just start. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do one and then I'll come back and decorate them off camera. Now the eyes. Hmm. I think I like the brown eyes for our reindeer. They just look like nice eyes. I got him in the right spot. Now, there's smiles, so should we give him a smile? Yeah, let's give him the big row of teeth. How's that? So now if I was going to decorate him, let me see. I'm going to do his antlers. This is gonna. This would take a long time if you really want to do these up nice. So I'll do some for you here, and then maybe I'll add to them later. Changing my perspective for you, so you can see what I'm doing. But I think you get the idea. It's really up to you. Not sure if these are out, but if they are, this would be a fun project for kids, you know, every year, and then date them on the bottom. Is 
seems like the markers work really well. So getting in here now, it'll be a little harder to do with this type of marker, but we'll try. Ooh, I got the tip of his ear, see that? Looks like you can get in all the small spots, most of them anyway, with these uh, pointy tip markers. It also almost gives it like a metallic look to it. There, I did one antler. How's that? Let me do his nose. What I think I should do is probably just uh, give these to the kids and then let them go nuts on them. Maybe I'll do that. And then I'll bring them back in. But for now, I think you get it. He's got a nice black nose. I'm trying to concentrate, so that's why I'm not talking. How's that? It's coming along. I think you get it. So let me do this. Let me uh, let me work on them off camera, and then I'll bring them back in and show you what they can look like. All right, well, I'm back. I have them off to the side, so I'll show them to you just shortly. I think they came out quite uh, remarkable. Um, the Color Blanks figures here, how to unblank your blank. There's a nice little sheet you can use on the inside, which I didn't show you earlier. So if you want to practice or do your artwork on the blank, you can. And then they give you ideas here. Oh, here's all the different shapes. And then ideas here on how to unblank your blank. Think it, ink it, stick it, paint it, share it. So... Looks like there's uh, different tips here that you can use. So let me bring in my two figures. Here is the snowman, and here is my reindeer, freshly decorated. That's what I thought, huh? Pretty cool. I think they came out great. Let me just give them a quick turn here. The cool thing is that uh, you get to keep the markers, too, so they're still usable for other projects, or if you get more of these... So this is my uh, color blank figure project. I'm pretty happy with it. So check that description below if you want to see more Christmas items or search our channel. And thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.